Hey guys, Toast here. So today is the first day of um, four nights, five days um, camping with kids. Um, there they are with the wife and the dog. Um, we've just set up camp, got ourselves some uh, stuff to have a fire in a bit. Um, it's not really wild camping, it's proper camping, as so to speak. We're on a campsite, uh, there's a lot of other people with us. Still, could be good fun. Um, part of the reason for doing this is I want to see how my boy copes with uh, proper camping and then maybe we'll get him out wild camping with me at some point soon, which would be really good fun. Um, we're currently just walking to the local beach, um, which, if I'm honest, I'm too tired to do the walk, but everybody else has got energy, so we'll do it anyway. Um, I'll get do another few videos and stitch them all together later in the week um, and then I'll post them when we're back on Thursday, Friday. See you soon, bye! So I said earlier that this is not wild camping, it really isn't. Quick walk around. So we've got a gazebo, we've got a full, uh, I think it's actually rated as an eight-man tent. Um, sofa, because of course. Um, my good lady wife is currently cooking us uh, spaghetti meatballs on full-on two-burner stove, as you can see there. Um, inside we've got the kids sat at a picnic table, currently doing the doodlings. Doodling! Doodlings! Doodlings! Um, the kids are then getting half of this uh, eight-man tent to themselves, they're getting a bedroom each, uh, with proper camp beds. Uh, just a quick look-see in there. Um, me and the wife are getting the other half. Um, the other half is actually going to be the dog's bed and ours. It's covered in mess at the moment, but it's fine. Um, and as you can see, we're, we're not doing this by house. This is a proper full-on camping bed. Um, because my wife is going to struggle with cold and with getting up and down if we're not careful with her conditions. Um, give another video tomorrow at some point because I'm going to settle down and have a bit. And this is why we go camping. Absolutely stunning vistas like this. Love it. Me and the kids are out here. It's about 7am. We've come for a nice walk because it was a bit cold sat in the tent. Um, waiting for my wife to wake up. So we thought we'd come out and enjoy the views. And what a view we've got with the sunrise today. This is pretty cool guys, um, we're stood at this little hidden lot, hidden bay and a little seal's turned up just randomly in the bay. Kids are loving it, um, <laughs> never been this close to one before, it's maybe 35 yards away from me at the moment, which is quite cool. Hey guys, Toast again. So today is the end of day two camping with the family on Anglesey. Um, I've got to say we've had a fantastic day. Um, woke up early because the camp bed that she got me is nowhere near as comfortable as the hammock that I love. Um, so we uh, well, didn't, didn't sleep particularly well. Um, we've woken up to news that there is a massive storm rolling in tomorrow. Um, so tonight might be our last night on Anglesey for a little while. Not that that's a problem necessarily, because we've had a great day. Um, what, once we'd sorted breakfast out and everything, we went down to the local beach, which I'm actually walking there again now because, well, basically because my wife hasn't followed to leave no trace. Um, on the walk down there this morning, we uh, we had a little doggy uh, doggy bomb dropped by my beautiful dog, um, which we backed up as you should. 
uh, carried there with us and she told me about half an hour ago that actually she left the bag there which means I need to walk down and pick it up I can't leave it for somebody else to tidy up no matter how much other people might do it so uh, another evening walk isn't a bad thing for me help me lose a little bit more weight which is always a good thing um, and we'll see what happens tomorrow uh, hopefully we'll get a better night's sleep tonight um, hopefully the weather won't turn as bad as we're expecting um, but if it does we'll decamp tomorrow no point in the kids not enjoying themselves so we'll decamp tomorrow and we'll day trip for the rest of the week and um, the important thing is that the kids had a fantastic time yesterday they're currently sat in front of a campfire that i've built for them on the campsite all allowed by uh, agreement with the landowner so that's all fine um, so they're currently making s'mores with the mother um, and when I get back hopefully the fire will still be going and we'll be able to sit around the fire until the wee hours and then we'll get a couple of hours kip and see what happens in the morning but right at the moment as you can probably see over my shoulder um, it is beautiful blue skies here on Anglesey and uh, yeah what more could you want catch up with you later folks morning campers um, trip to Anglesey didn't go well um, bad enough that we're home already uh, we were actually home at about 11 o'clock last night which would have been Monday night losing the track of the days that's what happens when you're not working um, but basically about six o'clock last night on the campsite a local farmer walks over and says if you camp tonight good luck to you the wind's gonna get so bad that realistically about 5 a.m. your tent's gonna be upside down and inside out at which point I uh, I took local knowledge and I'm really glad that I did because this morning I've woken up to all sorts of messages on Facebook and things of other campers who've woken up um, one guy I saw actually woke up that his tent got rolled over while he was asleep in it which is funny but not for him um, so it was a really good idea um, on a plus note we enjoyed ourselves we had a great time yesterday um, we know that we can try it again because our tent's still in one piece on a negative note i need to unpack the car this morning because i was not doing it at 11 o'clock last night um right time for me to go and get some breakfast and then we'll see what else we do this week with the kids um i've got a feeling that we're still going up to anglesey tomorrow wednesday um we're just going to do some of the touristy things that we would have done if we were camping but you know what it's only like an hour and a half drive so we'll drive up there and we'll do them anyway because it'll be full right that's all for this video speak to you all later if you've liked this video um please hit the subscribe and like um please feel free to leave me comments as well always happy for any comments um thanks very much bye bye